Back on October 31st, I started this race with the idea to get Houston back on track. I knew that I would be the most popular person. I knew that people would accuse me of being a politician. I'm no politician. I deeply care about the city of Houston. I deeply care about the city. Let me tell you why I care about Houston. Let me tell you why I care. I want to take you back. I want to take you back to 1980. Now, how many of you were even alive? I love you, girl. 
I love you. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen in this election, but I know that my mother and my sister and my girlfriend, Frances Moody, no matter what happens, we're going to be good. We're going to be good. Now let me say this. Now I want to say, and I got my glasses and I'm getting ready to preach. Are y'all ready? back on track. I announced that we can do better that we're at a crossroads. Are we going to be the city that we could be? The city that we know we should be? The city that we all expect we could be? Or are we going to be the city that we're a little bit scared that we might become? And that's what we've been working for. That's what we've been working for. And I love the city of Houston. Do you love the city of Houston? Yes. When we talk about, let me, I mean, I'm going to ask you something. There's a woman that lives on the east side of Houston. Every morning, she walks two blocks. She walks two blocks to her bus stop. And it's not safe. And it's not covered. And she drives. When she gets on the bus, she goes all the way across Houston. And she sees the inequity between the east side and Tanglewood and River Oaks and Uptown. My question to you is, who at City Hall represents her? I will represent her. Listen, listen, uh, hear me, hear me very carefully. Hear me carefully. There are people that are homeless, that live in tents in our city. They live in tents in our city. They live in tents. And they, they have a job. But the city doesn't care if they have a job. And so they go to their job. And when they're gone, the city comes and takes everything they own. Who represents them? I represent them. I represent them. We will do better. Now, the press says, oh, goodness gracious alive. That's what we say in East Texas. Right? Goodness gracious alive. Turner's going to win without a runoff. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. There are homeless people across this city that have no representation. There are people that care about animals that are all across this city. There are people in this city that have no representation. And guess what? Tony Buzzy represents.